number two, although the bottle is smaller, the ABV is higher. And we're still in action. This is beer number what? Yeah, eight. Number eight for this evening. And look at it. We're still ready to go. Yes, we are. I don't even have Un much of buzz. Unlike, unlike Paul at four o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, Paul gave us a call from the drunk side today. That's right, Paul. PA Beer News. And he said, or PA Brew News. Brew News. And he said, news. hey, hey, you bear bitches. News. Yeah. <laughs> no bear news. No, bad. Bear news, bad. Stop. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to the bear news, Paul. Anyways, so, hey, BrewTube, what do we got for you today? Oh, we got a beer from whom? Uh, packing wood. Paddock. <laughs> <laughs> no, bad. No packing wood. Paddock Wood Brewery Company out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. That's a fucking <laughs> mouthful. <laughs> Ooh, strange <laughs> brew. <laughs> Let's hope it's not a strange brew. And you're saying, DJ and Johnny, where did you get this beer? Oh, we, we got it from Brown Under Review. <laughs> Brad, at Brews Under Review. It doesn't look like it says Brews Under. It looks like it says Brown or Brawn. No, that's Brews. <laughs> My handwriting ain't good. No, it Anyways, isn't. it's Brad from Brews Under Review. Thanks a million Thanks, for Brad. sending this, Brad. And your information is down here in the bottom section. Check out Brad's channel if you haven't looked, watched Brad's channel and you have not subscribed to Brad's channel. What the fuck's your problem? Do it. Do the right thing. Check out his channel and sub up. Anyways. This is 100,000 Monkeys Imperial Stout 213. No, or 1,000. 1,000. 1, 1, okay. It just wasn't sure. Um, but it's 2,000 Imperial Stout. It's about nice. 8 to 10 months old. Uh, received in June of 2013, it's a Russian Imperial Stout. Availability is limited. It is a ABV of 10%. Is this the biggest beer we've had tonight so far? Um, yeah, besides the tasting, yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. Um, and then the IBUs is a high, 100. This should be yeah. interesting. Well, this is a, at least it was for us, right? Yeah. So, Paddock Wood is Saskatchewan's first microbrewery. Uh -huh. So, so this one's nearly a year old. I'm I'm guessing it's eight to ten months old because I've had it for a while. We did a beer, Brad and I did a uh, beer Holy trade crap. while back. <laughs> yeah, ain't no light passing through this bad boy too. I was noticing that when I was pouring it, even the stream. I mean, it's dark as pitch. When you swirl it, there's not much head, but when you swirl it, look at that, guys. You get tons of alcohol lacing on there. I mean, at Alcohol legs and lacing on there, yeah, but really yeah. coating. Get some dark. If you if you agitate enough, you yeah. get some head. Mm -hmm. get some dark. Like your ladies, if you agitate them <laughs> enough, maybe you get some head. Anyways. No, you won't. No, that's right. Once, not once you're married, guys. Anyway, just you know, if you're married, just give it up. Anywho, let's see what we got in the aroma department. He's already smelling it, so maybe he'll tell you. Mmm, nice. Getting a good amount of chocolate, dark fruits. Johnny's about snorting mm. the beer. I'm getting like a tobacco smell almost. Yeah, fuck that, I'm drinking. A lot of dark chocolate, coffee, a bit of caramel and toffee, and a bunch of roasted malt. Smells delicious. Cheers. I taste monkey. Um, burnt monkey. A thousand burnt monkeys? I don't know if there's a thousand, I'd have to count them. Because I'll be pissed if they're not a thousand burnt monkeys in there. That, if they're advertising that shit on the bottle. A thousand monkeys, motherfuckers, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I get a roasted... Roasted coffee. But thin mouthfeel. Yeah, for Imperial Stout yeah. stem. Um, Hell, the, the, that uh, Nognay U Porter was heavier than this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not a bad beer, but for Imperial Stout, it's really thin. It's got you can tell they they put a lot of malt in this, but this is a really Russian Imperial Stouts. They they run the gamut, and like the beginning of the scale, like that real roasty, like dark malt roasted Russian Imperial Stout up to the sweet stuff and barrel age. This is on that roasted side of the scale of the Russian Imperial Stouts <clears throat> to me, and it's got that the roast is like that burnt coffee roast. And for my palate, and like really bitter dark chocolate. Yeah, I'm not really. I get the roastedness, coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking up much more. I mean, 100 IBUs. I don't. 
I don't feel like this is hoppy 100 IBUs. If the bitterness to me is all coming from roast of some sort, yeah, it's it's a tasty beer, but the 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 thinness and the viscosity of the mouthfeel that's what really knocks it off for me. Because I mean, when I'm drinking a Russian Imperial Stout, I'm expecting for like a little more body than this. If not this, like if the body's still thin, but it packs really big like multi-layered flavor, that's one thing. But this isn't doing that. It's coating and everything in the mouthfeel, but it's like medium thin, which is odd for Russian Imperial Stout. I don't have much to say about this. He's pretty quiet. He's a, you're a stout drinker, too. Yeah. Our buddies over at Rate Beer gave him 94. <laughs> Saying anything. <laughs> and uh, Beer mm-hmm. Advocate's given 89. Hmm. Ah. Mm, I'm, I'm giving it 84. 84 B? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm not. I'm not happening on this. I mean, it's. I mean, it's got it's cellar so time and everything on it too. That's the thing. I mean, we know it's. I know it's at least got eight to ten months on it since it's been in my cellar. Um, I just. I mean, there are some aspects. Yeah, that's nice, but I'm not. For me, I, I, my nose is really bad, but which it is, but. I'm not picking up, for me, I'm not picking up, really, the aroma, and I'm just, just that, getting a roasted coffee chocolate, but that, that's about it, and it's, yeah, it's a, yeah, mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. Mm. The thing that does it the most for me is the mouthfeel in the stout, and the, the flavor is real one note. It's all like dark roast, dark, deep dark roast. Like dark chocolate and dark rose bitterness, and that's it. It's not like the for me. I had more in the aroma, but I'm getting a lot less. Pretty much the same thing he's getting in the taste. I'm, I think I'm going to give it an 85. It's, it's a high B. It's not B plus yet for Russian Imperial Stouts. Now, if they were calling this a porter, I mean, this would be a kick-ass porter. But um, they're saying it's a Russian Imperial Stout, maybe Imperial Porter. I don't know, but there's just there's something missing in this beer, like some component. Definitely, the mouthfeel's yeah, missing. They but forgot to put the monkey in. Yeah, maybe maybe it, maybe they need a thousand. They're one monkey short. Maybe they need a thousand and one monkeys, or maybe it's nine hundred ninety nine instead of a thousand. I don't know, but it's not a bad beer, but it's not like Russian There's Imperial other beers Stout. That I go before I buy this. Like Stone's Russian Imperial Stout blows this away. Yeah. It's because it's got like layers and layers of flavor, but. Anyways, that doesn't mean that we don't appreciate you, Brad, sending this to us just because it's not our favorite tonight. I mean, you know, for 100 IBUs, uh, either, granted it's rested, but Mm -hmm. the hoppiness has just really gone out of it pretty quick. I mean, even if the hoppiness wasn't there, to me it's like, it was still, even though, I think even if you had this fresh, it would be still dominated by the roast bitterness because it's so big. But give me the stone... Stone's going to be a big beer coming off. You know, I, I bet you if I had a stone that's 8 to 10 months, I'm no, still yeah. going to have hoppiness. I just don't see it in this. But anyways, guys, if you've had this beer, let us know what you think. We're both giving it a B. You know, I'm giving it a little higher B than Johnny is, but, you know, a high to a full full on B. Um, it's it's a decent beer, but it's I don't think I'd seek this out again. Um, maybe the barrel aged version is better. I don't know how though, because it's already thin. And when you put stuff in a barrel, it thins out the viscosity even more. So unless they put a shit ton more malt in it, it's not going to last in the, in that barrel when it's thin like this. Cause I've had thin stouts that they put in the barrel and they become like water. Yeah. Anyways, tonight, you know what we've been doing? We're drinking. Think, and, and thinking globally. We've been drinking. Yes, we've been drinking. Yes. We've been drinking a lot. Yeah, but I'm not even I'm buzzed it, are you? No. Anyways, we've been thinking globally because we've been drinking Canadian beer and Nogna Ooh type beer from, where are they from? Norway. Norway, Norway yeah. So Scottish beer. Scottish beer, all that shit, man. Mm-hmm. So, and we've been drinking locally. Yes, we have. In the what basement. What have we had locally? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Not tonight. Well, yeah, we did. We had Evo when we went to the uh, went to the beer tasting. Oh, wait. Yeah, but we didn't film ourselves getting free beer at the beer tasting. That's right. But we yeah. horked up on the free beer. That's yes, right. We did. <laughs> At the growler station. Uh, anyways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, they, they told us two guys that they had a guy come into the growler station at the beer store the other day. And he actually stuck his mouth 
under one of the unlocked tap handles and started chugging uh, Imperial Stout out of the tap handle. So it can happen in a town near he you, too. He thought it was free. Yes, he said, why the hell not if these are here? I guess that's a state of mind, isn't it? So, yes. to the next time, guys, we appreciate each and every one of you. We appreciate Brad for sending us this lovely beer. Think globally, drink, yeah, that's all that stuff. You know, you know what to do. Anyways, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Until then, that's a big what? Peace out. Peace out.